So today we looked at using different measures to solve word problems. Here's an example of one. So I've got Adam, Rachel and John have been growing sunflowers. Adam's is the tallest. Rachel's is three quarters of the height of Adam's. John's grew at least at only half the size of Rachel's measuring 56.25 centimetres. Now I've put the initials on the side so I can see I've got Adam over here, Rachel here and John here. Now I know, because the question tells me, that Adam, his sunflower is the tallest, so therefore he has got the longest bar. Now the next thing I know is that Rachel's sunflower is three quarters of the size of Adam's, so that's roughly three quarters long Adam's bar. The last piece of information I've got is that John's sunflower is half the size of Rachel's. So this pink bar is half the size of Rachel's green bar. Now the question also gives me some information over here that John's is 56.25 centimetres. Now if I know that John's is half of Rachel's, I know that two of John's bar will make the same as Rachel's bar. Therefore, I will need to do 56.25 times by two. I'm going to multiply that by two, I'll get the length of Rachel's sunflower, which will be 112.5 centimetres. Okay, now I know that Rachel's bar is representing three quarters of Adam's. Now, we know from all our work on fractions that each quarter will be equal, and here there are three quarters. So if I want to find one of the quarters, I will have to divide this figure here by three. You can pause the video now and have a go at dividing that by 3 using your short division. Once you've divided that by 3, you'll get the answer 37.5. Now if that is 1 quarter, we know that in a whole there are 4 quarters. So if we multiply this answer by 4, we'll get the length of Adam's sunflower. Pause the video now and have a try. The answer you should get is 150. Okay, a second question here. It's a true or false question. The Esme is filling 80 20 millilitre bottles using one and three quarters litres of oil. She will not have enough oil to fill all 80 bottles. We need to find out if this is true or false. The first thing we can do here is convert this figure here into millilitres. Now we know in one litre we have 1000 millilitres and we should know that in one quarter of a litre we have 250 millilitres so in three quarters we will have 750 we put that together we've got 1750 millilitres. To solve the problem we want to find out how many 20 millilitre bottles we can fill. So we have to do 1750 millilitres divided by 20. We pause the video now and try and work this out and you can see your answer is 80 or above that we can fill 80 bottles. Okay, this is the last question we're going to have a look at. So I've got Jack, Alex and Amir jumped a total of 12.69 metres in a long jump competition. Alex jumped exactly 200 centimetres further than Jack. Amir jumped exactly 2,000 millimetres further than Alex. 
So from our converting, we already know that, that is equal to 200 centimetres. What distance did they all jump? Give your answer in metres. So we know Alex jumped a certain distance, and then we know that Amir jumped that same distance, however, with an extra 200 centimetres. So I'm going to represent that with the pink block there. Now Jack, he jumped 200 centimetres less than Alex. So his bar is going to be slightly smaller than Alex. So this gap here that you can see, we know is 200 centimetres. The other piece of information that the question gives us is that the total is 12.69 metres long. And I'm going to convert that into centimetres to 1,269 centimetres. Now, if I take this 200 centimetres that Amir jumped extra and put that on Jack's bar, what do you notice about all the bars? Remember, Jack was 200 less than Alex and Amir was 200 more than Alex. If you have a look now, all three bars are equal. So these three equal bars all together make 1,269. So to work out just one of those, I can do 1,269 divided by 3. So you can pause the video now and you can try that with short division. And your answer should be 423. So that now tells me that one of these bars is equal to 423. This is the only bar that we haven't changed, which is why I've labelled this one. Now we know that Amir's jump was 200 more than Alex's. So we can now take the figure that Alex jumped and calculate Amir's. We know that Jack's is 200 less than Alex, so we can use 423 subtract this 200 less to find out how far Jack jumped. Once you've done that, go back to the question because it says give your answer in metres. So you may have to convert each figure into metres. 